All right. Uh, hopefully everybody can hear me and can see my screen. It's time for the Prometheus uh, functional update. Uh, all right, so Prometheus team, who are we? Uh, my name is Ben Kochi, I'm the Prometheus team lead. Uh, we also have Joshua, Jose, Mike, and Powell uh, on the team, but soon, uh, we will no longer be doing Prometheus functional updates. We will doing we will be doing monitoring team functional updates, and our new mission will be not just uh, Prometheus, uh, but we're going to be doing metrics with Prometheus, and we'll be adding open tracing and logging features to GitLab. Uh, uh, the big news uh, from our team this month is we finally uh, fixed and stabilized the. Uh, Unicorn Gem integration, which gives us really great uh, metrics inside the uh, Rails app. This has been a, uh, quite a lot of work, and I want to thank uh, Powell for all of the hard work that he's done to stabilize and improve the performance of the gem. Uh, it's now super fast, super efficient, uh, and something we're very proud of. And we want to, we'll be contributing this work upstream as soon as. Uh, as soon as we have some uh, much uh, really good confidence in the long-term stability of the code. Um, and uh, coming soon, we'll be enabling this uh, in the gitlab.com production so that we can get direct instrumentation out of the Rails application. Um, we've also seen some very good steady growth for the Prometheus project uh, use. So basically, this is a graph of the usage uh, that uh, as users see uh, the Prometheus button in their projects, in their GitLab installs, uh, uh, they've been enabling this and, uh, and allowing uh, Prometheus to monitor their apps uh, on their GitLab installs. Uh, and we've seen uh, pretty good growth of this over the last six months. Uh, we also have uh, in 10.3, we have some new, uh, so a few features. Basically, uh, we've been enabling more metrics and more parts of the code base. Um, we've now got some integrated browser testing. Uh, it's a uh, really neat little feature that uh, it, uh, allows you to get direct quick feedback um, uh, for applications uh, uh, based on a, a utility called SiteSpeed. Uh, and we'll be hopefully doing more of this in the future. Um, uh, we've also got uh, other new features. Uh, I won't continue to read the slides. Um, uh, we also have a nice new Grafana dashboard that we're going to be shipping in 10.4. Uh, this is just a very basic uh, starting point for helping users uh, monitor their own uh, GitLab installs. Um, uh, we're also going to be shipping a nice new feature uh, called custom metrics that will allow uh, uh, merge, merge requests to show uh, um, not just the default CPU and, and memory usage metrics, but also any kind of metric that they uh, an end user would want to, uh, to view. Uh, in production for GitLab.com, we're now using Prometheus 2.0 as the default uh, instance. So we've uh, this has been very very good since it has a much higher uh, capability for ingesting metrics and and letting uh, production get uh, get the most out of Prometheus. And that's it. Uh, any, uh, let's go to questions. Chat window, anything, hello chat. Uh, yes, the presentation, I will uh, update the the slides with the link to the presentation. Sorry, I'll, I'll update the calendar entry with the link. Ben, I had a question. Um, can you maybe give a better, not a better, but a more real life explanation of how I would use the option to, you said I can start tracking different events or different points all over my, my, my app or my service. 
now you give an example with a shopping cart. Can you give an example of what, why I would use it for and how I can benefit from it? Uh, you're talking about the, the custom metrics feature. Yes. So uh, say for example, you have um, uh, a login screen uh, and you might want to track how many new logins per second uh, are happening uh, so that you could see if there are, you know, you could see if you if you make a change to your login screen that the new logins per second drops off, uh, uh, which would be extremely valuable quick feedback that, you know, you've made a mistake to your login screen and none of your users are able to log in. Um, another one is uh, error rates. So we, we don't actually automatically know what your error uh, error metrics are. So you could add uh, your application error metric as a custom metric uh, to the to the input so that you could get an immediate feedback that your application is throwing errors. All right, so the, and, and obviously there's overlap with um, other tools that people are doing this already with, right? Yes. Um, uh, yeah, there, so some, sometimes if you're using, for example, this part of the reason why we're going to start integrating open tracing is so that we can start getting uh, those kind of, those uh, like exception handlers and, and other tracing events uh, into the interface. Yeah, so, so it's, it's add a little more color here. Um, basically, right now in the Prometheus uh, monitoring system uh, that we have today in GitLab, we have support for the kind of well-known exporters. So these are the exporters that are published and been developed um, and kind of linked in the Prometheus page. So this would be things like Nginx um, and you know, HAProxy and Nodex uh, and, and like Kubernetes CPU memory uh, support. Um, but um, if, you know, and your, if your application uses these, that's great, right? So for example, you can pick up the Nginx metrics uh, out of, um, say the Kubernetes ingress and get instant request rate, error rates, and things like that um, uh, out of your system, which is fantastic. Um, but a, a couple of things that you know, Ben's mentioning here is that you know, if you actually have instrumented your own code uh, uh, for Prometheus, uh, there's no way for us to know what those metrics are. Um, and so you need a way to actually enter those and so we can begin to track them. Um, and so this is a way for folks who, again, have, have, are, are, are using a uh, system that emits Prometheus metrics that isn't kind of one of the current library. Um, and, and this is a way for, for folks to go ahead and, and get those entered and then get tracked along with all the rest of the Prometheus metrics um, that we track as well. And this way it would show up on their dashboard for the environment um, and eventually would also make its way into the MR uh, widget, which um, right now only shows memory, but we're also looking to enhance that soon here uh, to show other metrics that um, perhaps have changed as well, uh, more significantly than memory. Makes sense, thanks. So one of the questions in the chat was, is the cu uh, custom metrics configurable at the project or the merge request level? Uh, uh, it's at the project level, uh, um, but you can, there, you can have multiple charts so you can see different things that are affected. Yeah, and that's just because, James, the, um, the, the, the metrics that are being emitted by the application code probably aren't changing MR to MR. Um, uh, and so, you know, if you're emitting new ones, for example, you, you can just add the new one to the, uh, to the metrics list. And that way, going forward, it'll, it'll be picked up and monitored. Does that make sense? Yeah, cool. All right, any other questions? Going once, going twice. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, have a nice day and go, uh, see you in the next meetings.